a second time today, something that Ray talks about. So there's two different kinds of people, okay? So I've got two different people here. I've got, you know, person A and person B, okay? You see person A and person B right there, okay? So we've got two different types of people. And both of these people are on the same journey. So you can see they're both on the same journey here, planting seeds to grow their business and doing all of the, um, you know, money-making business activities, okay? So they're both on the same path exactly the same path here and then at some point they will both hit kind of a wall okay so you can see there's a bit of a wall right here now that wall can be a lot of different things in your life okay and in most cases it's usually an outside kind of influence it can be um you know negativity it can be um mindset it can be you know all sorts of different things that kind of get you off track from your business okay so that's what this line is right here that's all of this the outside influence the negativity the mindset all of the stuff that gets you kind of off track from your business so now person a and person b both are on the same path and they both hit this same kind of wall now person a decides that He's going to look past the wall. He's going to keep growing his business and he's going to go up to kind of a, the success point. Okay. Person B can't get past this wall. It's kind of, you know, he's kind of stuck behind this wall here. So instead of going this way, he actually starts going declining in his business right here. Okay. So you can see that there's a decision point right here that really affects your business, right? This huge, huge decision point right there. So really, depending if you're A or B and how you choose to manage that wall and how you choose to whether or not look past the wall or let the wall um, overcome you and basically destroy your business, that is a decision that you have to make. And this is kind of where I get into um, the success prevention list. So let me not use a pen and write on this. I'm gonna use the, the correct marker. So we have the success prevention list. Does anyone know what a success prevention list is? So do we recognize these two guys here? Those are our friends, A and B, right? A and B, those are our friends. And you've got the wall right here. So here's the wall. So you've got A and B. So the thing with A is you can see he's kind of looking up over the wall, right? He's looking up over the wall. B is looking straight at the wall. He can't really get past the wall, okay? So A is looking past the wall. And because he's looking past the wall, I'm going to see if I can do this. Because he's looking past the wall, he's going straight up and over the wall all the way over to here, future A success. So he's getting right over the wall and getting to future A success. Okay, now B here, our friend B, he's thinking, well, how come I can't do that? Why am I stuck looking at this wall? Why can't I do that? Okay, so here's the reason. So we talked about mindset. And I made a post the other day about vision boards, okay? And I asked everybody to kind of write down their vision, their goal, and their vision board. So that is really, really, really important to help get you past that wall. If you don't have a vision, you're not going to be able to see over that wall to your future success. Because here's typically what happens. B is going to ask A a question, okay? B is going to say, well, well, how did you do that? Well, I must be doing something wrong. Like, you know, we were doing the same things. Well, how did you do that? And he says, I don't know. I'm just, I'm just focused on my vision. I'm focused on my goal. And he says, well, you must have had, you must have had like rich parents growing up. No, no, I didn't have rich parents. So that would have been a similarity. But you notice he didn't put anything in the similarity box here. Okay. He pretended like he didn't even say that he did not have wealthy parents. 
But then he asks, he says, well, do you live in Chicago? No, I don't live in Chicago. Oh, see, I live in Chicago. So that's why. That's a different, That's why I can't be successful because I don't live in Chicago. So then he's writing in that he doesn't live in Chicago. So now he's got his list going. So now he's got his list going. And what does this list become? This list becomes his excuses, right? His success prevention list. That's what this list becomes. Well, do, do you have kids? Yeah, yeah. Our buddy A here also has kids. Oh, well, I have kids too. But he's not going to write that in the similarities box. Because then that means he can be just as successful as A, right? Oh, well, do you have an ace car? Yeah, yeah, I have an ace car. Oh, that's it. That's it. That's why I can't be successful. Then he's going to write that in. Nice car. He's going to write that in. The differences box. That's why I can't be successful. Because he has a nice car. I don't. So here's the issue. When you get stuck with your mindset and you get stuck on that negativity and you do not focus and create yourself a vision. You can talk about having a vision all day long, but unless you actually create it, put it on paper, put it on somewhere where you can see it every single day, it won't, will not have the same effect. Okay. So for you to be like a, it's not as difficult as what you would imagine it to be. You have to stop looking at the differences and start looking at the similarities because the differences that you're seeing are not actual differences because I can tell you that if A has a nice car and B doesn't, that has nothing to do with his business. Nothing. A and B both have kids. That should have went in the similarities box. But when you get stuck in that rut and your mindset is literally against the wall, this similarities box might as well not even be there because it won't matter. It won't matter. You won't look at it because you're going to find every single excuse that you can to be the reason why you can't be successful. And that is this difference here of whether your business grows or declines. There's really no difference between Mr. A and Mr. B. They can both be just as successful. It's just they handled that wall a little differently. And now, you know, I understand that Sometimes when you get stuck in that rut and you get stuck in that negativity and you get stuck with those outside sources and the mindset, you know, issues and things like that, creating that vision board will make a big difference. Have a vision, set goals, and have a schedule for daily activities. And that's why I put in the units steps one to six because it's all scheduled for you. you all you have to do is schedule the time. So if you really want the success, you can have it. But mindset plays a bigger role than you can ever imagine. Mindset will decide your future. It really will. And for mindset, you need to do self-development for sure. Have yourself an accountability partner, someone that you can talk to every day that you relate to. Um, not everyone clicks well together. I get it. You might not click with your upline. You might not click with your, you know, your closest team partners, whatever. Find someone you do because I'm telling you, you know, you know how I said that Brittany Beck is my upline and she has team unity. She's actually not my upline. I have someone else who's my upline. We don't speak. Not ever. That doesn't mean I was going to let my business fail. That doesn't mean I was going to give up. That doesn't mean I was going to get myself in a mindset that, oh, whatever I do, she gets paid for it. It doesn't matter. This isn't about her. This is about me. 
This is about me helping other people, me helping other people grow their business, me helping other people feel better, be healthier, and you know, making an impact in the world. And I can't do that if I'm focused on other people's negativities or other people's um, you know, thoughts of me. What other people think of me is none of my business. I don't care. I just, I want to build my business and help my, you know, my team and, and my customers. And, and I want everyone to be happy and healthy. That's all I want. So, you know, if you're stuck in a rut and you need someone to talk to, reach out, whether it be me, um, Brittany, you know, your own upline, um, Crystal, whoever it may be, you can reach out and talk to them because we're here to help you. And, you know, don't think that, don't think that you can't reach out to me about anything or that it's a stupid question or or any of that because it's, it, it isn't and you know I'll, I'll direct you in kind of the right direction to get the answers that you need if I don't have them I just want to make sure that you understand that you all have the same opportunity here we all have the same um, you know units to plug into the same trainings the same product um, and, and you all have the same opportunity for success if you want it. If you don't, that's fine. Nobody's saying that you have to, you know, make crazy amounts of money or anything. I just want you to have what you want, basically. Okay? So, you know, if you want a couple hundred dollars a month, uh, you know, I'm, I'm there for that. I'm there for that. If you want to just pay for your product each month, I'm there for that, too. But if you want to make, you know, 1000 5000 a month, I'll help you get there. I'll help you get there. And the whole team will help you get there. And your upline will help you get there. We all want you to be successful.